help you help Steve figure it out. Yeah, sure. Uh, so do you just want to start going over normals first? Well, or? I think the over, the first thing, kind of the narrative of this is one of the directions you guys took was she now heavily is all in on Muay Thai fighting. Oh, you can, yeah, yeah. Let's literally, it's the first thing first. you can so see in her stance. That does go cool. into her normal. Yeah, that, that uh, did uh, notice that. Her stance is a lot more like Muay Thai, kickboxing, MMA style thing. She, you know, isn't exactly like one discipline. She kind of, you know, will use whatever to win. But, um, oh, yeah, so she does use her gauntlets and, uh, she has another power that I guess is pretty different from the MKX where she has augmented legs. So, uh, yeah, I, that I was almost up with that, like with her legs and hands. So it's like basically, uh, there, there's, uh, her hands and legs are enhanced okay. now. Okay. It's not, still little human. Yeah. It's, it's more just augmented. It's not robotic. Okay. Um, but yeah, she definitely uses it in a lot of, uh, Normal Whoa! Attacks, yeah. Double sweep, or two hit so sweep. I mean, about some key normals. One of the coolest things is actually her sweep breaks the norm. It's two hitting. Aha! Uh -huh, yep, yep. It is two hitting. Okay. It looks cool. It, it, looks it also cool. looks really cool. I also um, like a lot of her jump attacks. I think they look really neat and unique as well. Yeah, I really like the elbow drop. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my favorite string personally is her 4-3. It's an advancing normal, and then I just love this. Two oh, players. I like that. That is dope. My favorite uh, string of hers is the one that, that puts the, the kick that makes you... Okay, nice. Nice. On the ground. Yes. Yeah. This is actually Ooh. one of her crushing blows. It's a counter hit. If you attack them while they are trying to attack you... Oh, right to the cranium, though. Oh, wow. And then follow it up with a combo. Nice. Way to extend combos is a lot of crushing blows. And you can kind of cash in. Like, what I mean is, like, if you block Sub-Zero Slide, which is punishable, mm -hmm. you can use that, and then once per game, you're going to get that big, juicy combo. And I think people were worried nice. when, when you heard about so basically you know, whiff the Sub-Zero um, Slide. It would be to remember, but, like, as I play the game, I knew every single thing that I needed to do during that match yes. to get those to come out. And, and if you play long, it, it happens. As Ed recently said, they will be in the move list. Yes. We're going to have the requirements in there. I just knew, like, when I was playing for my characters, this is exactly what I had to be searching for. Yes. Um, another one of the key ones is back to two, which I'm pointing out because I absolutely love the particle effects. Fair. And she does that kind of lunge towards him as well, right? Yes. A little hop. So yeah, um, she does have that. That's mainly like her main thing that she'll use at longer range, but most of her attacks are pretty close range. Yes. She's more of a in-your-face type character. I would um, definitely say it's comparable to Sonya, where she's, she's not using a long-range web. She is not the kind of prototypical... They have really good range at mid range and all that. She needs to get in, but her pressure is really good to make up for that, which we're going to talk about. Okay, you, cool, I cool. I say, I mean, definitely there are players who played Jackie in the last game uh, up close, but like, yes, they're, they're, I mean, even, even some of the frustration with some of the early Jackies was was her range, mm. and it's been a definite redesign on how Jackie works for this game. Yeah, she she's one of the characters that to me is almost a new character. Like about eighty percent of her has been re redesigned. Yeah, she definitely looks so like she's been reworked a ton. Four, two, two. So for the four, better, two, though, two, it seems like at least personally, I never really played Jackie in MKX, really but now MK11, though, so, kind of talk about this makes me want to play Jackie. Like, like, uh, yeah, like she might be like one of my mains or something. Like to, that uh, extent. Like, is uh, oh my god, she looks normal, so fun to play as in here. Nice job. she was one of my favorite characters of Zero, though. Where she, if you input the attack really quickly, you get a different. Uh, you know, hit basically, and it was kind of a more advanced thing. It wasn't the yeah. easiest thing to yeah, do. Yeah, it was. It took Tyler over 50 tries. That's actually just true. Yeah. literally. Yeah. But that is one of the things that we kind of brought. I back. like that. Uh, obviously, I that. Mm, obviously, I like spin work, kick uh, at all, like how it did before. But the idea behind the attack is there in that move. And Jackie, overall, I think, is going to be one of the more in-depth, complex characters in the game. Uh, a lot of her special moves, they're not hard to do. It's not execution. It's she has a lot of interesting tools that are unique that I think we'll get to that make her. I think a lot of the people that played Jackie in the last game, that's what they liked about her. They're very much hipster players who love the. <laughs> no, I, I say that with with. I think they would agree. Like very much, they were. It's a it's a niche kind of character to play, and we wanted to bring that back. We not hard to play. Like if you just think she looks cool, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna have some really cool stuff. But if you're into that kind of cancels and mm -hmm. weird command grabs and stuff like that. We definitely Delivery. got you covered. Yeah. So okay. Okay. She has some, I mean, I'm not going to give it away, but some mechanics that we've never done before. 
Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Yep. It's not difficult to do, but it's very, very unique. Yep. So her projectiles are sort of back. She can shoot at the ground and shoot up. And if she amplifies it, she can hold it and then do a straight one. And um, the difference being, she now has different loadouts. Can you kind of explain that? Sure. Uh, so this is actually one of the different uh, uh, equipped um, shots. Uh, so this one is rockets, basically. When you shoot at the ground, it'll explode when it hits the ground. Uh, and it'll knock them away, which we'll see other ones don't do that. As right. Do Each one has a different like uh, reaction the opponent will do when you hit them and have different ranges and uh, cause different effects. So yeah, there's, there's three different types of rocket, which you see here, and then we'll get to the other ones later. Hmm. She also has dash punch, very similar to her like dad, dad's attack. Really dash good punch is basically Superman wrong. punch. This is a fun requirement, it's hitting it at max range. A little further, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. yeah so fun to do. That one just feels good. Yeah, like if- Yeah, it's, that feels you know, so good. Who goes for an ice ball or something and you read it and you just bop him on the head. It, that's good time. That's I mean, fun for the whole Briggs family. A lot of the crushing blows that kind of are like, all of a sudden happen as yes. a surprise, you're like, whoa! Like, yeah, it's, that. <laughs> it's super fun when you hear the enemy go, whoa! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, real quick, before I forget, I did. I just got a message from someone. Okay. Oh. We gotta, we gotta do Kotal Khan's uh, Fatal Blow. Oh, After this, yeah, Mr. That's... Aquaman is not, he's... Oh, yeah, he's they crazy. didn't show he's his worried. fatal blow, Kodo Khan's. Fatality too, which I think we can do both those. Well, does he not have, isn't that an indictment that he doesn't think I'll win? It's a good question. Or you could argue, you won't see the fatal blow because I'll never be under 30%, because I'm just that yeah. good. Yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> All right, so she also has his mock kicks. Okay? Oh, my God. What? Oh, I'm he's loving that. New... Cyberlift. And then you this amplify it to uh, continue it, make it a continued combo. It pops them up if you amplify. If you don't amplify it, she just does a few kicks. Not nearly as exciting. Right, right. But when you but amplify amplifying it, it though, you can extend the combo strings. That's awesome. And uh, you uh, hold it to yes. either do more kicks or do less kicks. Which or... is super fun to do. Yeah. So let's go over some loadout stuff. All right. In this loadout, I gave her the flying knee, which is another advanced Ooh, nice. great combo in it. You can meter burn it, or sorry, amplify it to do her dash punch. This also has a crushing blow. If you do a combo that's larger than eight hits, you can go into it and... Combo larger than eight hits, okay. That runs very well with the grease kick. Ooh, that's a good Ooh. one. Ooh. Look at that damage. So another thing I gave her, as we were talking about, different loadouts here. Oh wait, I'm still on default. Uh, this is a really cool one where she has a bunch of cancels. So, they are different than most cancels where she's actually just not doing... So this is the normal strength. Yeah, it's because not like taking up stamina her. or nothing. She stops. This, Unlike a lot of cancels, this does not take stamina. Oh, okay, yeah, you and just confirmed it. About, what, three or four of these? Four of them, yeah. Uh, one cool thing too, she can do it off her sweep. So she has a double... Because playing Scorpion, sweep. like she some stuff I had to cancel the into second. took stamina, like... Oh. People a like with Scorpion, we can do his teleport. That is super cool. Or his uh, yeah, stuff. I'll be really beer. good at. Nope. <laughs> this is not hard at all. You can actually see this. I'm doing it every time, and I'm not good with Jackie and not good with execution. So this is one of the core ways that if you don't want her to be a grappler, you don't want to use the load I'm about to use, or you can mix and match. That this would be how, while her range is not the best. She does with the projectiles, and then when she gets in, she has that pressure. That's okay. one of the key ways you okay. do it. If you like to use cancels, if you like that execution stuff, you can go ham. Right. Yeah, it's it's not so much about super hard execution. Uh, it, you know, it's definitely not the easiest thing in the world, but you can get it down. Yeah. Um, but it's more so like just, you know, keeping it in mind as a player and as, you know, the opponent of, you know, oh, I, I can do this. You kind of have to be on guard. You have to be ready for more things. It's one of those. Right, what else we got, Steve? Let's go. All right, loadout two. First off, I am a massive fan of this skin. This jacket. Oh, Steve, you're a fan. Steve, I'm about to say Steve loves no, all the different skins. Jacket. Oh, of course he I loves want. this. I see why. Another hairstyle as well. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the hair is super cool. Yeah, it's pretty good. Right. So this one, I made a grappling one. First, I changed her gun. She now shoots plasma that oh. actually sits on the ground. Does that do dot damage? damage when they stand on it. So it's totally different than the rockets. So, like you can see. It doesn't even physically hit the downward. It does. And all the effects are super good. 
So yeah, the ground one will always just hit the ground, but all the other ones, uh, if they touch the opponent before they touch the ground, it'll set them like. Okay, I'm gonna have to use that then and one of like loadouts or my main loadout for her. Like it'll stay active. While I love damage over time stuff. I love so it. Then I went with her clench, which this is a command is, ground. Great. Okay, that's so very works, MMA. You actually get multiple options. You get three attacks before they can break out. So you can see. It. She can do the knee. Total MMA style yes. clinch. And from here, she has three different options. Ooh. She has these double knees. Wow, just tossing them. She has this toss, and so one throws you forward and one throws you back. And then she has this overhead ender. It's an elbow drop. And Man. this has a really cool crushing blow requirement. So the requirement is you have to have done the other enders. So throughout the match, you'll be going for this. And then when you finally go for one... You get a crushing Ooh. blow into a pop. Oh! So this is a super fun crushing blow requirement. Throughout the match, you'll be going through it every chance you can. The opponent is going to know you're going through these different ones. And then when you have that third one loaded, then you're going to do hemma damage when you get the clench off. But you only have three attacks that you can do before they're going to break out. Makes so sense. Okay. Like, yeah, one of those things where... So I'll make it too OP, you know? Keep in mind, like, hey, am I close to the corner? Am I far away from the corner? Do I want to use the side swap one now to get that kind of out of the way so I can get the crushing blow next? Or do I want to keep pushing him towards the corner? So it's, it kind of adds to the... Yeah, it's a, it's a great point. Like, in this scenario where she wants to keep her cornered, if she's already done the one that keeps you in front, you might want to... Going for the crushing blow might not be worth getting them out of the corner and right. stuff. So yeah. that's a fun meta there. Then lastly, we gave her this really cool move, which is when she techs a throw, like breaks out of it. Uh-huh. I am totally mistiming that. Come on, Steve, get it together. She can, throw you. There you go. She can amplify oh. and then go into a throw herself. Oh, which we've never freaking arm breaker there. This was the coolest moment in the trailer, in my opinion. Okay, well, so what, they, they, what, what are you trying to be like? You trying to be like Ronda now? Ronda Rousey? She can do. So Is that what you're trying to do with her now, yo? Trying to make it a little bit more like Ronda Rousey. She's already uh, playing Sonya Blade. Voice of voicing her. <laughs> oh, God, that just made me think. If they already got Jackie Briggs doing a little bit of MMA stuff, imagine what they're going to have Sonya Blade do with Ronda Rousey voicing her. I would imagine Sonya Blade would have to have some type of like yeah. MMA loadout or some build to her, at least in some aspect, just because of Ronda. She can then break out of it with one or two. And they ain't even shown how Sony Blade plays yet. Punch or kick to do a follow up throw that they have to guess out of. And that actually has a crushing blow with the leg. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Wait a minute, what? Either way. Oh, uh, is that how you do that one word? Uh, <laughs> that is, uh, oh, he's uh, by the show. The, uh, throw escaping the throw escape. Nope. Throw yeah, escape. Throw exactly. Escape into the throw escape. It's basically just a. You Might have already showed it. Just, Throw goes into the but I know that the crushing blow they showed in the trailer though with the leg. I guess that's how you do that. Arm break. Then if you do the leg break, you'll actually get the crushing blow. So okay. So that'll play into, you know, again, do you have you already done the arm and they're gonna know you're gonna go for the leg and then they're gonna start trying to break that one because they don't want to get their leg broken and it goes into a hole. Right. It's more than a 50-50. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what we got next, Steve? All right. One All more. right. One more. So this one is the mobility variation. Is this your favorite one? No. Okay. The, the, the leg grab one is my favorite Let's one. Sure. I'm not going to lie. Although this outfit. Oh, you know, I like that outfit, oh, yeah. though. That outfit is dope. Outfit. But this one, look at her shoes. Yeah, I mean. That, what I although really she's love, fighting in heels, though. The heels on to look classy as hell, but they're still robot legs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So in this one, she actually gets a super jump. What? It's anime AF. And she can do <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely <laughs> anime as hell. Attacks from it, normal <laughs> attacks, special moves. I mean, you can kind of explain the the uh, application of a, of a super jump briefly. Right. It's uh, mainly it compliments her wanting to try and get in uh, towards the opponent. She doesn't have. I mean, that's pretty cool. They have options, long range. Um, so obviously, if the opponent's far away, they're not doing anything. They can see you come in and. You know, they're going to anti air. We can just do a super you know, jump like your super girl or something, or uh, you're like, hey, flash, I'm though, and just jump, jump over projectiles. Like full screen and right. <laughs> get in his face. So. so I also gave her this dive bomb. Oh! Which is super fast. Okay. Now that's so you better. Manage, and you can, again, like, if the opponent's zoning you out, you know. Can you do it off the super jump? You can. Although I wonder if that's punishable. And 
a ground pound, which is a low, and she can amplify that to go in the two. Nice, nice. Man, those effects are beautiful. Yeah, her stuff looks really, really cool. So lastly, let's go into her Fatal Blow. Yeah. This has got to be one of the... All right, looking at this it's again like from the trailer. Ridiculous. It's still pretty awesome and cool, but... It's really nice that Ooh, she I don't know. I kind of wish it's... I guess... Uh, it's like there's going from really, like, a lot of flashy well, stuff. She has a regular With the fiddle blows and fatalities. Like, it's... Like, a lot of flashy oh, yes, stuff right. before the gore. So this one you can see is kind of the standard one. It does not knock you down. She you just... You're just recover standing there in a slight reaction. Right, and uh, so you can use it, you know, when you're close. When you do that, you'll be at advantage when you hit them, keep them standing type thing. And then you go into pressure. So this would be great to complement her command grab hmm. or the cancels, especially. Right. You know, just go into strings, keep standing. Okay, okay. Up, go for a throw. So yeah, with her thing, she has the dot damage one for traps, a restand one for pressure, a knockdown one for damage. Right. And you can kind of mix and match how you want. Awesome. That's Hell Jackie yeah. Briggs, folks. Jackie. Briggs. Amazing. So awesome, bud. That yeah, she's dope. I cannot wait to play her, y'all. I'm just oh, yeah, go, it'll be so fun. Go it'll be so fun.